Well, good morning, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. You know, I'm doing some work here on the studio, so to speak, um, trying to readjust stuff to make things a little more cohesive uh, here for my hands and stuff because I've got my mixing board here. Uh, my roadcaster i've got my live stream surface pro where i can change my cameras and angles and stuff and you you got to be able to use your hands you know so that way you can get everything situated so i had to move the mic stand some so it's kind of in a different position but then you got to make sure it's not in the way of seeing your screens and then you got to adjust the computer but then it gives me more space over here because i moved all that stuff over here you know from a coffee so it keeps this hand free so this hand's free for that initial punch you know boom you, know, you got you got to be able to do that punch and then i can of course have to rearrange the cameras and stuff so you do these things to get yourself ready that you can rock and roll and i have great news because our number one draft pick tyler guyton one part of the tnt left side that's going to be ready to blow some shit up and blow some holes open, just like the T-shirt. TNT, left side, um, is working with the famous Duke Merriweather. I don't know why Duke Merriweather isn't just on the Cowboys staff as one of their offensive line coaches. I guess the Cowboys figure that, why buy the cow if you can get the milk for free? Because he's based in, in Dallas, and he's working with all your linemen. Why do we need to put him on the staff and pay him some money? Because the Joneses are that cheap. But the great news is Tyler Guyton is working with Duke Merriweather, and we have a little clip here of him doing some hand drills. In the same way, I'm working on getting hand placement here because it's great because I, I just like this. Look, look, you see, my hand goes like this. I can go up here and I can I, just like that. Boom! I can hit that, or I can boom, just like that. I can hit. And change camera angles, okay? Or if I need to, I can grab my coffee. So it's all about having the right hand placement. Now let's take a look at Tyler Guyton's hand placement. He's learning from Duke. Two, 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 one, two, three, two, 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 wax on, two, wax one, off, three, wax on, two, wax two, off. Look at that. Two. Two, All right. One. And see, three, he also see, see here's two, what I, I love. Two. Is he's got that Z. Two, okay. Two, if you look at one, it, see how it's three, two, 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 okay. Two, two, so he's got two, two, take care of the belly. Three, so he's got a two, good base. Two, and boom. His feet look at his feet. Chop him up. Two, keep that base. Two, get ready. Boom. Push. Two, you gotta move. Push. You gotta move. One. Like three, C. All two, of them. So, two. Shout out to He's not two, waiting for rookie two, minicamp to get going. One, He's three, running for one of the two, best right now. Two, and this, my friends, should two, definitely, two, definitely one, help him three, to get hit the ground two, running because we're going to need him to. Now, here's what's two, interesting. Two, two, one, three, two, two, two. We'll just let that play in the background. Um, the good thing about this is. Tyler Guyton is actually really, really, really good at run block. Excuse me, not run blocking, pass blocking, okay? And this leads me into um, a point that I, it's one of those things that I believe was true, but I had to check the numbers, okay? So here at Joe Boo Sports Report, we give you some things that maybe other people will gloss over. The Cowboys have gotten a lot of grief because they said, oh, my God, you know, they should have gotten Derrick Henry, man. Derrick Henry on this team and everything else. And it sounds good. It sounds good. But not every piece and player out there fits what you are trying to do. And this is the thing that gets lost with a lot of people. You look and say and think that everything off the shelf will automatically fit on your team and make you better. But see, Derrick Henry is a workhorse running back. He's not a pass catcher. He's not that dynamic where it's what Mike McCarthy is trying to do. See, here's the thing. This is crazy when I look at this. Because I went through with Mike McCarthy um, 
looking at what his running game has done when he was with the Packers. And the thing about it is they haven't been that dynamic as far as running the football. In fact, the year that they won the Super Bowl, in 2010, they were 24th in attempts. They had 1,606 yards running, 3.8 yards per average. And Brandon Jackson was their leading rusher at 703 yards. But I just didn't stop there. I'm just saying, okay, so you know, maybe that was just a fluke that they didn't really have the running back game and stuff and, and so on. But here's the thing. 2011, they went 15-1. and one. They were 26, okay? They ran the ball less in 2020, uh, 2011, had 1,558 yards, averaged 3.9 yards a carry, and Ryan Grant was their leading rusher at 559 yards. In 2012, they were 11-5. and five. Alex Graham was their leading rusher with 464 yards. They averaged 3.9 yards a carry and were 16th in, in attempts with only 1,702 yards. Uh, 2013 um, was the biggest year. This is where it's crazy. 2013, Eddie Lacy ran for 1,178 yards. I believe that was the biggest season rushing-wise that they had. And they rushed the ball 2,136 yards at 4.7 yards a carry. So you'd say, oh, my God. So, oh, man, now Mike McCarthy had the running game there. Man, I bet you they just busted through and beat everybody. No. They won eight games. They won eight games. They averaged almost a yard more per carry than the Super Bowl year that they had. Doesn't make sense, does it? They were more efficient at running the football. They ran the football. 12th most attempts in the NFL. And they had an 8, 7, and 1 record. Now, 2014, they did get back up to 12, uh, 12 and 4. They were 14th in running the football, 1,917 yards. The carry, yards per carry dropped a little bit to 4.4, and Eddie Lacy had 1,139 yards. Um, 2015, um, 4.2 yards a carry, 1,800 yards, 10 and 6. Um, 2016, 10 and six record, 29th in running the football, only 1,700 yards, 4.5 yards per carry. Ty Montgomery was their leading rusher at 457. And 2017, Jamal Willis, 556 yards, 27th in running the football. They were seven and nine and so on. So here's the thing that's kind of crazy is, Mike McCarthy has only had two running backs in his time with Green Bay that had over 1,000 yards. And for the most part, when they ran the ball less and had less yards per carry, they were more effective. It doesn't sound right, but that's the numbers. They were better winning more games with less running. So going back to the premise that the Cowboys needed to get Derrick Henry or, or so forth, that's not what they do. And see, this is where Tyler Guyton, who right now is a better pass blocker, is going to help. And this is where getting Zeke Elliott into the fold is going to be more helpful because he'll be able to help your Tyler Guytons. He'll be able to go ahead and pass block. And if you get the Cowboys with the Texas Coast in the second season – of Mike McCarthy's offense doing what Mike McCarthy wants to do the running back you do need to have the running back and be successful but it's not where you're looking for Zeke to be the 1500 yard carry I mean a season guy they're winning multiple games with like 1600 yards and if you look back at what the Cowboys did last year last year and actually, I don't have the numbers up here, but let me pull it up. Um, that fits right into the formula. Dallas stats. 2023. Um, get the 
thing from pro, the boys from Pro Football Focus. It actually fits exactly that same formula. The Cowboys, 12-5. and five. Rushing attempts, we were 14th. And yards per carry, 4.1. And our leading rusher was Tony Pollard with 1,005 yards. And so you can see bringing in Zeke Elliott, if he gets Zeke Elliott for 700, 800 yards, that's just like when he had Brandon Jackson, 703 yards, 3.8 yards a carry. They were 24th in rushes, and they won the Super Bowl. It doesn't sound right, but again, 2011, they won 15 games with 1,558 yards at 3.9 yards a carry. And Ryan Grant, 559 yards. It's crazy, but it might just work. All right, good people. I'm Mark Holmes, and as always, you know we bring you news that might be different than what you hear from the experts out there, but you find out shit might actually be right. Peace.